am watching it for the first time. What, Not it. What? 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 <laughs> E.T. You only get so many movies to choose from. I'd let you throw that, but that's way too expensive for Shoot! No, oh, I wouldn't do that. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a little bucket comes with. Um. No. No. Oh? No. Uh, not, not today. Not today. No. Uh, let's see what else there is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Jurassic Park. Jurassic. I didn't know he did the Jurassic yeah, Park stuff. That is, I feel like he's the only like big director to ever do a sequel. E.T. Which one? Uh, They're two very different movies. One's the 25th anniversary. The other one's the Steven Spielberg version. Wait. They're both Steven Spielberg, but one of them is a different edition. I will, we'll do the Blu-ray. This is Blu-ray. Oh, this is Blu-ray? Yeah. This is like... Space. Oh, yeah. Okay, Look we'll do... This case. Let's do this one because it's more. It's got like more of a. It's got more of like a uh, aesthetic to it. This is the basic bitch ET. This is the upgraded. ET. This has an aesthetic to it, so let's yeah. do the aesthetic. Yeah. One. So ET it is. ET. One hundred percent. Yep. Spielberg edition. Okay, we're going to Taco Bell. Then we'll be right back. This just in from South Texas. Do they pose a threat? How have you ever seen this beautiful majesty? I actually haven't, no. No, how have you not? Oh, how have I not? How have you not? Um, because you're a thought. Let me tell you why. Yeah, actually. Um, there's, I would, this is what I would, I'm gonna give like a realistic, uh, answer to this question. And because my parents aren't big movie buffs. Okay. okay. So, um, they've seen it before because they were 80s kids. But if we're gonna go with the, um, that was my logical answer, but the oh, okay. real answer is because I'm a ho. Ah, shit. Here we go again. So, what'd you think? Um, that was good. Um, uh, had definitely that, like, 80s aesthetic to the movie. You know, like, the 80s, like, traditional. I don't know, something, it had a really nice aesthetic to it. I feel like that was the thing I really took away from it. Um, it was really predictable, but I think that's just because it was one of the movies that started a lot of those movie tropes. Um, other than that, I think it was good. Basically, my thoughts on this film. Um, Spielberg, one of my favorite directors. Jaws, my favorite movie. I think it's an okay film. Uh, it's not my favorite Steven Spielberg space movie. That would be Close Encounters of the Third Time, which Drake hasn't even watched. No, well, I'm not. He hasn't. He hasn't seen Jaws. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. Yeah, we're gonna have to. But, yeah, uh, basically, this is a good movie. It's a classic. That's, that's the big takeaway from this movie. Uh, if you still haven't seen it, I probably would recommend watching it. What would you say? I would recommend watching it. It's just kind of like one of those movies that you should. You should yeah. watch. Because, I mean, I feel like any Spielberg movie is a wa like a movie anyone should watch unless like you're sensitive about the holocaust then Schindler's List probably isn't the best choice Wait, but are we Schindler's List? it's a Spielberg movie oh. but yeah E.T. the extraterrestrial how would you rate it? 
Um, what am I rating it on? One to ten scale. One to ten scale. I'll Actually, give it a, a one to ten Spielberg scale. I don't know what a Spielberg scale is. I haven't seen enough movies to have a Spielberg scale. Um, let's see. Okay. I've seen Ready Player One, which is probably at this point still my favorite Spielberg movie. Yeah, you haven't seen enough Spielberg movies, but yeah. Probably. Um, I'd probably give it a. I'll give it an eight. Eight? Okay. Yeah. I'll give it an eight. I'll also give it an eight. Just because, like, I understand. I'd give it a lower score if it wasn't, like, released as early as it was. Yeah. Like you said, most. This is probably. This probably predates most movie tropes. Yeah. So, eight. Eight out of ten Spielbergs. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for ET. Any anything else? Mm, no, other than I for sure probably be watching more of these classics. Quote unquote classics. He's gonna be watching more of these classics. Okay. So we know we said uh, Attack of the Octopus People and Frankenstein versus Hitler. Did we already get the likes for that? I don't know. Uh, okay, that's that's still the like goal, right? 25, 25 likes on the last video. We'll watch that. But as of right now, our next movie contenders are probably it the tw in the 1990 miniseries. What were some other options? Uh, for movies that Nosferatu. Nosferatu, I do want to see. Was Jaws 3 a joke or is that something you genu genuinely I do want to see Jaws 3. Jaws 3. <laughs> And Halloween 3. Halloween 3. Um, I also want to see the originals for those as well. Oh, okay. But so. Yeah, uh, if you have any suggestions or movies that you think we should watch and review, we should have a better layout for reviews pretty soon. <laughs> but for we now. We still have those B-rated movies, those B-horror movies. Yeah. See. Well, uh, we got, like, we have, like, at least probably 60 horror movies that we have to watch so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like let's get 25 likes on the last video and then we will review attack of the octopus people and uh hitler versus frankenstein all right adios me mateys Bye.